Today, counterterrorism officials warned about threats from Al Qaeda during this holiday season, and in just one week, the Christmas travel crunch will be in full swing with the enhanced pat downs and the full body screenings. But tonight, Brian Ross investigates can weapons still slip through security? In the midst of last year's Christmas travel period, TSA screeners at Houston's Bush Airport somehow managed to miss a loaded, high powered Glock pistol in an empty computer carry on bag. This is what it would have looked like. Authorities tell ABC News it happens all the time. Screeners asleep at the screen. With a determined and sophisticated enemy like Al Qaeda, that should be very troubling news indeed. In fact, the owner of the gun in Houston boarded a continental flight and flew to his destination before realizing the gun was in his carry on bag. I mean, this is not a small gun, it's a 40 caliber gun. Houston businessman Fareed Seif, who carries a gun because he works late, says he forgot to unpack it before the trip and reported the incident as soon as he landed, astounded at the security lapse. There's nothing else in there. How can you miss it? You cannot miss it. The failures of TSA screeners to spot guns and other dangerous items is a closely held government secret. Results from the most recent so-called red team tests by the Government Accountability Office were apparently so bad they are classified to the outrage of congressional critics. How many times did they fail? The public has a right to know those bottom line results. A person briefed on the latest results told ABC News the failure rate approached 70 percent at some major airports. And two weeks ago, the new TSA director, John Pistol, told reporters that at some airports, every single test gun, bomb part or knife got past screeners. Unfortunately, in, in many instances, they, they've been 100 percent successful in getting through. And despite billions of dollars spent on equipment, the last line of defense remains individual TSA screeners faced with an often mind-numbing task. We don't pay them very much money, and we don't train them very well, and you, you get what you get. In the case of that Houston gun owner, he says while his pistol sailed past the screener, the woman behind him was stopped for having liquids in her bag. The TSA says the screeners asleep at the screen in Houston were disciplined, but not fired, Diane. Again, as you said, it's mind-numbing, but so critical. So important. That's the last line of defense. Thank you, Brian Ross.